All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of 12 minus one is equal to zero. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite this as x to the power of six to the power of two minus one squared is equal to zero. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into x to the power of six plus one times x to the power of six minus one is equal to zero. So this gives me two equations. I get x to the power of six plus one equals zero and x to the power of six minus one equals zero. Now I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna rewrite x to the power of six minus one equals zero as x to the power of three to the power of two minus one squared is equal to zero. <clears throat> so I can use this property again and get x to the power of three plus one times x to the power of three minus one is equal to zero. Now, for x to the power of three minus one equals zero, I can, I'm can i gonna rewrite this as x to the power of three minus one to the power of three equals zero, so I can use the property a to the power of three minus b to the power of three is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So this turns into a minus b times a squared plus a plus one is equal to zero. Sorry, this turns into x minus one times x squared plus x plus one is equal to zero, which gives me yet another two equations. So now I have x minus one equals zero and x squared plus x plus one equals zero. So for x minus one equals zero, all I have to do is add one on both sides and I get x is equal to one. And for x squared plus x plus one equals zero, I can use the quadratic formula. So by using it, I get x is equal to negative one plus or minus the square root of three i over two. So these are two more solutions. And now we aren't done yet because we also have to solve these. So now I have x to the power of three plus one is equal to zero. And I'm gonna subtract one on both sides. So I get x to the power of three is equal to negative one meaning x is also equal to negative one. So this is another solution. Now for x to the power of six plus one equals zero, I'm gonna again subtract one on both sides. So I get x to the power of six is equal to negative one. And if I take the sixth root, I get x is equal to six root of negative one, which is equal to negative one to the power of one over six. So now, the sixth root of negative one is, say the, we know that I is equal to the square root of negative one, which is equal to negative one to the power of one half. So negative one to the power of one over six is the same thing as negative one to the power of one half minus something. So now one over six, or I should say one half minus one over six is equal to one over three. So one over six plus one over three is equal to one half. We know this, meaning we have negative one to the power of one over six And this plus, or sorry, I should, one over two minus one over three is what we can rewrite one over six as. Now, this is the same thing as one half plus negative one over three. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, 
this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this is going to equal negative 1 to the power of 1 half times negative 1 to the power of negative 1 over 3. Negative 1 to the power of 1 half is the square root of negative 1, which is equal to i. So we get i times negative 1 to the power of negative 1 over 3, which is the same thing as 1 over negative 1 to the power of 1 over 3, which is equal to negative 1. So I get i times negative 1, which is equal to negative i, which is my final solution. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by evaluating my terms. So we have 9 to the power of 900 and 9 to the power of 901. And these two terms are pretty similar, except that the exponent for 9 to the power of 900 is 1 less than the exponent for 9 to the power of 901. So the easiest way to solve this <clears throat> is to simplify this as much as we can. And a way to do that is to factor out a term. Well, 9 to the power of 900 is actually a factor of 9 to the power of 901. So all we have to do is rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as something times 9 to the power of 900. Well, we can use property of properties of exponents to do this. So I'm actually going to rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And now I can use the exponential property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So, now from here, these two terms have the number 9 to the power of 900 in them. So, I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of 900, which is what I said I was going to do at the beginning of the video. So now I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9, because 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9. Now, 1 minus 9 is equal to negative 8, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. <clears throat> now, from here, I said I was going to simplify this as much as possible, and we can't really get the exact value, because 9 to the power of 900 is such a big number that we can't actually get the exact value for that. However, what we can get is the simplified value, and we're going to simplify it as much as possible. So I'm actually going to move this negative sign to the front, so I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8, and this gets me negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. We're simplifying these terms as much as possible. So I'm going to use a quick exponential property. I say set a to the power of m to the power of n, is equal to a to the power of m times n on 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900. So I get negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is my final solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and even show this to any of your friends and family. That would support me a lot. I have a bunch of other videos similar to these on my channel. And if you're up for any challenges, I have a bunch of those. So please make sure to check them out. And thank you for watching. Bye.